Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatan Jun Asman. I want to storytelling about the Celtic Church. Once upon a time, there was a castle standing in the midst of the city, which was empty for many years. No one stayed there. People say the giant used to live in the castle. But in all these years, nobody has seen any giant there. Have you heard about the giant of the castle? I guess the rumors. We should not believe in them. Has anyone has seen any giant there? No, no. We should enjoy the beauty of this place. Then paying attention such the rumors. But who maintains a garden then? There was a beautiful garden around the castle. It was full of blossom, wood, fruits, birds, and butterflies. Every day, many little children used to play in the garden. It was the like and safe place for the children. They all used to play different games. Running behind the butterflies was one of their favorites. Hey, look at that orange butterfly. I'll try and catch it. Run behind it, but don't hurt it, please. No, I won't. The garden was a beautiful seven. And then, one day, the giant arrived. He was happy to see beautiful, well-maintained garden. Ah, my beautiful garden. It seems it's still blessed by Mother Nature. I'm happy to be here. It was afternoon when the giant returned to the castle. There was there were no kids playing in the garden then. The giant liked his peace. However, in the evening, the giant was disturbed with the noise outside. The giant liked to live alone. He didn't anybody around him. He decided to go out in the garden. As the giant entered the garden, the kids playing got scared. Get they started screaming and running all around. Everybody was looking for an escape. The giant very angry to see so many children playing there. Go away, you little monster. You spoil my beautiful garden. Go away. And don't even try to enter in my premises. This is my garden, not yours. All the children playing there rushed out of the garden and went home. The giant went back to the castle and enjoyed the peace around him. The giant was asleep again. The children thought that the giant had gone. And they couldn't resist entering the garden. The giant woke up again to find the kids playing in his garden. He got furious and he sh shouted at the kids. The frightened kids ran away. The giant kept an a on the garden from then on. He didn't even sleep at night. Late at night, he saw a branch of a flower tree falling down. He didn't understand the reason behind it. The next morning, the giant saw a few children playing in his garden again. The kids very scared when they saw the angry persona of the giant. The giant decided to the rise and hang off the boundary walls of the castle. Now the giant was all alone in his castle. Nobody could enter into the castle. The giant is very selfish. How can someone enjoy in the garden alone? He must be a very sad person. We should find out why he said. We can ask him only when we'll be alone to go in. Hmm. The giant used to sleep for a long time. When awake, he used to sit in his window and watch the beauty of the garden. But he saw some branches falling down every now and then. He thought, Might be for some time. As the spring comes, my beauty garden will blossom again. He sat in his window throughout the winter season, watching the garden go dry day by day. I wait for the spring. It's grow my garden. 
It's grow my garden and make it more beautiful than ever. The spring cup and went, but the garden was still dry. Not even a single flower was left. No birds or butterfly. The giant was very unhappy. Why isn't it there any blossom in my garden? Why has modern nature turned its face away from my beautiful garden? Is modern nature angry with me? But why? She would be angry. The giant talk about it for days and nights. He was fed up of his loneliness. One fine morning, a few kids snaked into the garden. They played there for some time. Until the giant saw them, the giant was angry at them. He ran to them, shouting, and the children ran out of the of the premises at once, except one of them. What are you doing here? Please don't kill me. I won't come here again. Do I kill people? No. I'm not a bad person. No, no. I don't kill anybody. I won't kill you hater. Don't cry. I want to go home. Please let me go. I wanted to climb up on this tree, but I can't. Oh, that I saw. Let me help you. The giant lifted the boy and put him on the branches of the tree. Now, call your friend inside. You may play here. The giant observed the beautiful smile on the boy's face. The boy called his friend to play. The kids come in, and the giant returned to the castle. On his way back, he saw a small plant with a couple of flowers on it. It was surprised to see them, and happy too. He turned around to see the kids playing merrily. They onwards. The children started playing in the garden as they used to. And very soon, the garden blossomed as it did in the past. The giant, sitting in his window, understood when the real beauty of the garden lies. Okay, that's a story about the selfish giant. Thank you for watching. Bye.